In this video, we're going to look at some of the ways that we can use the Ironman software universal Docker image to not only test PowerShell universal, but also customize a deployment of PowerShell universal. So for starters, if you don't already know, there's a Ironman software PowerShell universal official Docker container on the Docker hub. By using a simple Docker pull command, we can retrieve this Docker image and run it in our environment. This makes it easy for us to deploy and test PowerShell Universal. So here in my environment, I'm actually using the WSL2 capabilities of Windows 10. This is of course Windows subsystem for Linux, and it's actually probably one of the easiest and most efficient ways to test software using Docker. So in my case, I already have my WSL2 instance configured and I can simply pull the latest Ironman software PowerShell universal Docker image here. And we can see that each layer will be retrieved that makes up the Docker image. And when this is complete, we'll be able to run this to test PowerShell universal. Now that's complete, I'm actually just going to use the Docker extension for visual studio code to actually start and test this Docker image. So here I can see, I have the latest Docker image. I'm going to run this interactively just so I can get some information about the execution of PowerShell Universal here in the terminal. And now that it's actually running, I can simply open my application in the browser and log in to a base default instance of PowerShell Universal. Now, while this is a great way to actually install and test the software, this also provides us with a few opportunities for customized deployments of PowerShell Universal. You can actually do some pretty interesting things with this, and it's certainly a viable solution. Generally speaking, any of the components that you can create in PowerShell Universal get stored as actual PowerShell scripts. This basically on the back end functions as configuration as code, so that anytime I create an API, anytime I create a new script, anytime I create a schedule or even a dashboard, that actually gets stored into a PowerShell file. If you actually look in the settings of PowerShell Universal, under system settings, you'll see this repository path. And this basically means that all those artifacts will be stored as PowerShell files. Now, what this enables us to do is to essentially pre-populate a series of these files and PowerShell Universal will actually load these automatically. So what we're gonna do in this demo is we're going to create a new instance of PowerShell Universal, except for it will have a script and a schedule deployed automatically. And that script and schedule will actually start running right away. So basically what we're going to do is we're gonna create our own Docker image that adds our scripts and our schedules to the base PowerShell Universal Docker image thus giving me a customized Docker image that I can deploy basically anywhere that gets me up and running with my scripts that are running on my schedules immediately as soon as the container is deployed. And once again, we're going to use Visual Studio Code to facilitate all of this work. So like we saw earlier, I have my Ironman Software Universal container here. And basically all I need to do is create my own Docker file. So here, uh, again, on my WSL2 instance, I've created three files. The first file is an actual script that I want to have run by universal automation. So this is a very simple, basically hello world script that actually goes ahead and posts to a Slack channel. So as soon as this script executes, it's basically just going to give a hello world into a public Slack channel. Now, in order to have this script be registered by universal automation, I am going to utilize a scripts.ps1 file. This is the file where universal automation actually stores all of its script registrations. And we can see here, I have new PSU script, the name of the file, the path of the file, and then information action information. Now that I have my script and my script definition, I can move on to my schedules.ps1. And like the name suggests, this file actually defines schedules. So I can see here, I have the new PSU schedule command and I have a cron job. This syntax for cron here basically indicates I want this schedule to execute on every one minute. 
And here I've also specified the script name that I want to execute. In this case, it's that actual Slack PowerShell file that we showed earlier. So now that I have these three files in my Docker file, which is what I'm going to use to actually build my new customized Docker container image, what I'm simply doing is basing this image on the official PowerShell Universal package. And then I'm adding my three files that we just went through into the repository directory of Universal Automation. And basically what this means is that this instance of Universal Automation as part of PowerShell Universal will have my Slack script and it will have a script definition and a schedule. And because I've noted that all of these things are active and operational, as soon as my container starts, it's going to actually start executing my scripts. So now that I have all the artifacts that I want to add to my customized container, and I've defined those artifacts in my Docker file by adding them into the appropriate directory for PowerShell Universal, I can simply use Visual Studio Code to actually build my new image. And I'm going to just name my new image here, my customized universal. Again, very simple. And this is going to do a Docker build command. And as we can see here, it's using the base image that I've already downloaded. And then the follow-up steps have actually each individually added my scripts to my container. And now I can simply go back to my Docker Visual Studio Code extension. And I see now I have, again, the base Iron Man Software Universal image, but then I also have my customized image. So this customized image has all the artifacts I want, and I can simply run this. And now what I'll see is once again, I have an instance of Universal Automation up and running. And if I go ahead and log into my instance, what I'll see under scripts is that now my custom script is here. I didn't have to create it manually, but it was pre-populated for me. And if I go to my schedules page, I can also see it. This script is scheduled to run every minute. And finally, if I look at the jobs page, I can see it's already gone ahead and executed that script. I also just happen to have my Slack channel open here. And I can see that my hello world script has gone ahead and executed. So of course, this is a very simple example. It's just a hello world script. It's a very simple schedule, but this can be scaled out. So what I can do is I can start with the base image of PowerShell Universal. I can add all the artifacts I want manually. And once I have a good base or a set of scripts that I want to scale out a deployment of, I can simply harvest those, put those into my own custom image. And then in my own organization, I can use that new customized image to deploy out so that as soon as PowerShell Universal boots up, all of the components, including automation, dashboards, and APIs are up and running and good to go. And of course, some of the other artifacts that we can configure that aren't covered in this video are things like uh, authentication, identities, licensing system settings. These can all be configured as well. But for today, I think that will do it for this video. I hope this kind of gives you some ideas of what you can do with this. And I'm really excited to see what you folks out there can do with this.